Hello you guys, today's video is going to be about miscarriage. Yes, you guessed it based on the title. I just wanted to talk to you guys today or to anyone out there who's had a miscarriage or having a miscarriage and kind of encourage that individual um, to try again. Um, I had a, me and my husband found out that we were pregnant on July 18th, um, 2015, so a couple months ago. Uh, we had been trying since a March. That's when I took out my birth control that I had in for a couple of years. I had the marina in. Um, and like I said, we got pregnant on the 18th of July. So that was four months of trying. So we found out we were pregnant. We were very ex excited. I don't even know why. I think I took, you know, I took the test because, um, I was feeling dizzy one day when I was outside and I was like, mm, you know, why am I feeling dizzy? So I just happened to take the te test, even though I had already been testing for a while. I think a week before that it said no. Um, so um, we were very elated like any other couple would be who's trying and, you know, called the doctor's office and they were telling us we had to wait until we were um, five to six weeks in which at this time we were only um two weeks based on the pregnancy test like i think it was like clear and blue told us two weeks so we waited and um we went to go see the doctor once we were at five weeks and they confirmed that we were you know pregnant and it's just something about that confirmation from the doctor's office to let you know that you're pregnant um because in the back of my head i was doubting though i took like three tests that told me i was pregnant but um so we went to the doctor's office, he told us we were pregnant, we started preparing, you know, getting our prenatal vitamins and, you know, getting magazines and, you know, just reading information about pregnancies and clothes and, you know, what to expect. Um, though I already have a son who's 10 now, it was just for me trying all over again. Um, so you tend to kind of sometimes forget the feeling and what to do and so forth. Um, it wasn't until I think like a week or so after that, that I was at work on a Friday and I was, um, cramping, um, and I went to the bathroom and saw, you know, a little bit of blood and I was like, mm, okay, maybe this is implantation. Um, and you know, went to go sit back down and kind of just was telling my friend, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm having cramping. We both kind of agreed that maybe it was just, um, implantation to the uterus. I went home that same day, um had more blood than I have at work and also um, blood clots. And so I was, I told myself, okay, well that doesn't seem normal, but I still never even thought that it was a miscarriage. Um, I went laid down and just told myself I needed to rest and you know, maybe everything will be okay. Um, which I did do that. I took a little nap and I woke up and um, I went to sit up and then like a gush of liquid, which now I know as, you know, the, um, the fluid from the amniotic, the sac. <laughs> um, so, and I didn't know then that that's what it was. Um, I just, everything was kind of new to me because this is my first miscarriage. Um, I got up, you know, and went to the bathroom and more blood clots were, were passing. The following day, um, I went to sleep. I was texting my friend, I'm sorry, on Friday about, you know, what I was observing. She told me I needed to go to the doctor. I kind of was like, okay, well, maybe I'll call if it still continues to um, proceed. And what you did, and I called the doctor's um, office, which they were closed on Saturday, who recommended that I go to the women's hospital, in which, you know, they wanted to make sure that, it, you know, I was okay. They did confirm that it was a miscarriage. And at that very moment that the doctor told us that it was a miscarriage, I was so hurt. I don't ever remember being that hurt. Um, and it just came like out of nowhere. Like the pain was, was just overwhelming. Um, so we cried, my husband and I, like it, it just doesn't happen to you. Like you, you don't have a, a miscarriage. You're healthy, you're young. These are not things that you think about. And they told us that, you know, that it wasn't based on, you know, my lifestyle because I don't drink, I don't smoke. Um, they told us that it also, we were healthy. So based on that, they really didn't have no answers other than the possibilities that they were maybe chromosome issues. Um, whereas the baby could take too much of the chromosome from one of the parents. Um, so that's the body's way of getting rid of the baby. Um, 
So, you know, we've been trying since, you know, the miscarriage, which was on um, August 7th, um, 2015. We've been trying and, you know, I just like a day or so ago had, you know, emotions come and I thought I was pretty much over it in the sense of I can deal. Um, but then they just came and I was, you know, my period was here and I was just very emotional and um disappointed and just you know feeling those feelings again of a miscarriage like a reminder of a mis of my miscarriage um so this video is more so to tell my story but then also to encourage those who are thinking about trying um to try and those who are thinking about giving it more time to give it more time because at the end of the day this is your journey this is your life and you dictate you and god dictate um dictates what is best for you for me and my husband, we want to try again. Um, as soon as possible, we wanted to try again. Literally, I think after all the, the fluids were out of my body, we um, wanted to try again because you miss your baby, obviously. You never get over it. Um, you miss being pregnant. Um, there are so many emotions at one time that it's very hard to explain to anyone who's never been through it because even yourself going through it and even now going through it is still very hard to explain the emotions because you're feeling everything at one time. You're mad, you're sad, you're angry, you're bitter, you're confused because it's it's not one emotion. So this is an encouragement to keep moving, to deal with it the best way that you can, to know that there's a little angel waiting for you when you get to heaven. Um, to love, to try again, to take your time if needed, to breathe, to enjoy. So for anyone, like I said, you know, watch this video. I hope this helped anyone who is either going through a miscarriage or has gone through one. Like I said, it's only been a couple of months and I will never forget the, the feeling. Um, but I thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it to the much of it that you could. <laughs> um, please rate, subscribe, and if you have any questions, please list it in the description below.